Based on the Fourier integral and the fact that uh, that our, our function uh, may not be periodic, it may not repeat itself, uh, we can we can derive what's called the Fourier transform, which allows us to go from uh, from the time domain to the frequency domain, as shown here. So we can go from the time domain to the frequency domain, and we can do this both in continuous space, as shown here on the left, both continuous and in discrete. Um, uh, similarly, we can go from the uh, frequency domain to the time domain, so we're going from f of i omega to the time domain here, f of t, and that's called the inverse Fourier transform. Again, uh, we can do that both in uh, discrete space and in continuous space. So um, that's the Fourier transform and the inverse Fourier transform. And uh, the um, discrete Fourier transform is uh, particularly useful because whenever we sample a signal, whenever we take uh, data in, in real life, we always have to sample it in time. And so you see here, I've written T0, T1, T2, T3, and, and so forth. It's going to be always going to be having this discreetly sampled signal. And so rather than uh, fitting some curve to that signal and then trying to do a continuous Fourier transform on that fit, we can just do a discrete Fourier transform in the first place. And, and the reason we do this is so that we can then examine uh, the frequency content of that signal. Now, the algorithm for the discrete Fourier transform I've typed up and written here. So uh, this is the algorithm for the discrete Fourier transform. And it's, it's basically uh, just, just, the, uh, uh, just a direct application of the equation I showed earlier, uh, where we have this double for loop and uh, and the number of operations, uh, as you can see from, from these two for loops, the number of operations uh, that it takes to do these, this, to uh, compute the discrete Fourier transform using this algorithm is on the order of n squared. And so it takes, uh, takes uh, n squared, where n is the size of the input, operations to compute uh, the discrete Fourier transform.